Hello and welcome. This is Punto How To. My name is Andy. This time around we're going to be looking at changing the cabin air filter on my 2011 Fit Punto Evo. This video is also likely to apply if you have a Grande version or if you have an Abarth version of either the Grande or Evo. It is also likely to apply if you have um, a late model Vauxhall Corsa um, which also uses the same air filter as it has the same underpinnings as the uh, Punto Evos and Grandes. Um, we love everyone who subscribes. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not subscribing, please click on the button down here on the right. Um, click subscribe, click the little bell. That will then give you any notifications if we uh, upload any new videos. Um, we love reading your comments, so please comment below. Um, give us a thumbs up, even if you don't comment. Um, but most of all, thank you for your support, and with that, let's watch the video. With the hot weather we've been having in the UK recently, topping over 35 degrees someday, the car was getting very hot, and with the air conditioning turned up full power, we were still getting very little air out of the air vents. You'll want to start on the passenger side of the car. Open the passenger side door, and where is the car mat, take it out, throw it on the floor, and you can use that to protect your knees whilst you're doing this job. To gain access to the cabin air filter, you'll need to remove this trim panel from the far back edge of the centre console. To remove it, get your fingers under the bottom edge, as shown here, pop the bottom clip out, and in this case, the other two clips easily popped out with it. As you can see here, the positions of the three clips. When doing this job, be careful of these two pipes especially if you've just been driving the car. These are the hot water pipes that carry the hot water into the cabin to run the heating system. Even if it's a hot day, these pipes will still be very hot. Take the screwdriver out of the boot of the car. This is a double-ended design, so you can pull the blade out of the handle and turn it round. You'll need the Phillips end, the cross-headed end of the screwdriver. Next, we change the filter. Undo the single screw at the bottom of this housing shown here and pull the clip out in order to open the cover. The filter sits just inside of this and is very easy to remove. Just get hold of a corner and you can start feeding it out. You'll need to get the whole filter out at the bottom and then you'll feed the top end down. You can't access the top and the bottom at the same time. Once out of the car you can see just how dirty the filter has become. It's full of leaves and debris and the filter itself has turned virtually black. The new filter has the instructions printed on the inside of the box as shown here on how to install it. The new filter, as shown here, is nice and clean and white and bright. The old filter, again next to it, you can see how contrastingly dirty it is. Installing the new filter is much the same as removing the old one, but you need to feed the top of the filter up into the dashboard um, with the edge of the filter in the opening to, the, to where the filter goes. Uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here with this video. Feed the filter up and then you can slowly start working it back into the housing top and bottom. Once the filter is back in place, you can put the cover back over the top of the filter. And then put the single screw back at the bottom of the cover. Now you'll need to clip that centre console trim piece back in. As you can see here, there's actually a, a an edge that clips into a uh, locating clip on the side of the air filter box. Um, you'll need to carefully line this up with that clip which I've tried to show here in the video. Once you've hooked that behind the plastic trim further back you can then pop the three clips at the front into place. Once everything is clipped back together we test the system and we're getting much better airflow out of the vents. The next job to tackle is the rather weak air conditioning system. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video which will show you how to recharge the air conditioning system. But in the meantime, click subscribe, click like, 
do leave comments and give us a good thumbs up if you like our videos.